Semi-final two is on the grid, and Jesse Calio is the man who lines up on pole position. First time we have seen him in Rally X Nordic this year. He was fastest in Q2 early on in the day, but Q3 and Q4, he's been a bit stuck in traffic and things haven't gone his way. He's got Simon Olofsson alongside him. The second row is uh, Peter Norso and then Mats Oskarsson, and Anders Michelak is the man who rounds out the grid. Yes, Calio starting on pole position. He's perhaps the favourite to win this race, but Simon Olofsson is an experienced driver. We'll take the battle to him, I think. Yeah, I think we're expecting Calio to, to take this one. He usually has really good launches, so uh, I'm expecting him to, to get out in front, but anything can happen, and he's been a bit unlucky today, but uh, yeah, let's see if, uh, if the luck changes. Everybody is ready then. The front row, the black car of Jesse Calio, the yellow car of Simon Olofsson. They will look towards the lights. It is blast off, and it's not a great launch by Calio because up alongside him on the outside is Olofsson, but Calio does go through on the inside into turn one. Peter Norso, it is in third. Oskarsson is fourth, and as Michelak fifth as they climb the hill for the first time. And Jesse Calio is exactly where he wants to be. Yeah, for sure. Uh... I think we will see a very clean run by Gallio. He's When he gets in front, it's very difficult to beat him. And now he didn't have the best launch, but uh, we can see the advantage of starting on pole. You don't maybe have to have the best launch to, to get out in front because you have the inside line to the first corner. That all-important inside line you saw in semi-final one from Linus Usland's point of view, the drama being on the outside there, launching himself up towards the final right-hander of turn eight is the leader, Jesse Calio, at the end of the opening lap. He's eight tenths to the good already. A very sideways Simon Olofsson is there in second spot. But the gap is going to widen. Now, the real question is, can Michelak or Oskarsson get up with Petr Norso for third place and get into the final? There is Michelak. He's up into fourth, but he has still got quite a chunk of time to make up against Norso's red car ahead of him. Yeah, now he needs to close down the gap to to be able to, to challenge out of the Joker because otherwise it will be difficult. So Petron also, there he is in the red car in third spot. And that for the moment is good enough to get him through. His best of the season was a fourth place last time out. He's eighth in the championship. There is also in the background. But look, you can see the way that Michelak is closing that gap down all the time now. Neither of them have served the Joker, so Michelak is doing this on pace. That is Calio in the lead, and that lead is one second. Still in second place is Olofsson, but it's battle on for third. There, the gap is coming down and down and down. Petr Norso being caught, no question, by Anders Michelak. Yeah, now let's see if, if someone of those two takes the Joker. Not yet, maybe. Okay. For the moment, it's uh, Michelak shadowing Norso. Anything he will do, so will Michelak. There go the race leaders. Let's just see whether that gap has gone up between them. Yes, it Calio then, who is a RX Academy and RX Academy on Ice uh, champion. This is Rally X Nordic debut. He leads now by 11 tenths of a second. There is Michelak, who in turn is inching up onto the tail of Petr Norso, but he's not close enough yet to make a real move. He's going to try and do it, I suspect, on the Joker. To be honest, I think Mats Oskarsson has taken the Joker and he's closing down the gap a bit. He's, he's 1.8 of the beginning of the lap behind these two, so he could be one that, that actually could go through. Yeah, you're right, because he did Joker at the end of the first lap. Now Petr Norso has Jokered no, and stayed no, ahead not. of Oskarsson, so he had enough in hand. He's just been able to maintain that advantage, so Petr Norso hangs onto the place. Now, Michelak has got a push with a clear road around him. Is he going to be able to stay ahead of Peter Norso when Michelak jokers? There he is in third place. That's not two seconds of a gap. That's not enough, is it? No, it's not two seconds. Uh... Oh, yeah, not enough. But Norso goes a little bit wide through the hairpin there, dropping down the hill. That's going to play into the hands of... And there's Michelak on this, the final lap. So the leader goes Joker. There is Olofsson, who is closer, but not close enough to have a go. And so Jesse Calio is going to progress. He's going to get into the final. He wins semi-final two. Simon Olofsson takes second. And here's the fight for third. It's going to be a virtual dead heat between them as they come across the line. And it is Michelak who goes through. He was just ahead of Petr Norso by... 
two hundredths of a second. That is all. It was a virtual dead heat between the pair of them, but Michelac got it by 20 thousandths, two hundredths if you prefer. So Calio, Olofsson and Michelac go through. Oh, that was some last lap by Michelac, wasn't it? Yeah, looking at the, the space between them coming down the hill, it was uh, didn't look like Michela could make it, but uh, yeah. And maybe a mistake on the joker or something, but uh, yeah, great job by him to get through. It's not over until it's over, is it? Proof there as we look at the best bits of semi-final two. Jesse Calio converting pole position into the race lead. Lots of air taken there over the jump up towards turn eight at the end of the opening lap. But he was good up front, being able to come through the winner. In the end, it was a small margin, only nine tenths over Simon Olofsson. Petr also there getting behind Michelac after he jokered. Michelac jokering as well, and that shuffled the order once more, but a great fight between the pair of them. And Anders Michelac perhaps saving the best till last. He's been a bit anonymous over the course of the weekend, but the 41-year-old gets himself into the final. And there, very wide was Olofsson as he came onto the joker lap right at the very end. Up to the chequered flag and the win, yes, Icalio. But have a look at this for third place. Michelac just ahead, then he went wide, back up the inside and also great racing. Yes, it. That was a good race for you. Yeah, it was good and a clean race. Yeah. Uh, you were given a tough fight by Olofsson. Yeah, it was uh, really, really tight on the first corner, but I managed to do it well. And yeah. On to the final. What can you do there? Yeah, just need to get good start, and uh, then we see what happens. But I try to win. Good luck. Thank you. So now let's have another look at that last corner. Michelac ahead, but look, he goes wide, does he not? And that gave Petr Norso the chance to challenge on the inside. So close. Yeah, it's easy to cut a bit too much on the curb. And, and here in Kovola, we have a few few of those curbs that really send you in, in the air. And then we've seen some rolls also before. Confirmation of the results. Yes, Italio takes the win from Simon Olofsson in second and there's Michelac third. They will go through. Petr Norso missing out by 200. So Mats Oskarsson, who joked early, fifth, he's out too.